Good day, gentlemen. Um, we have a geosolid on the board today, and uh, as you guys can see, I've already placed the framework for you guys on the board. Uh, we're going to have a front view, top view, and a left side view. Uh, as stated by the question, these, these are the views that you'll have to go and plot and uh, draw. And let's just start with, we we'll have to go and draw the basic pentagon. Uh, to be able to find the center of the pentagon, we'd have to bisect out of the lines or the angles, knowing that a pentagon is a polygon that equals sides and that uh, equal angles. Not only that, guys, when we found the center, we know that this is going to be a pyramid, as the question would state. Therefore, we need to find the center of the sky. We we'll have to join all our base corners to the center for our top view. Once we've projected all the information up to the front view, we then find what the apex or the axis height is going to be. In this case over here, uh, if it was 70 or 60 millimeters, you'd then take it from the ground line, which is your x, y axis, all the way up to the apex. You'll then project the widest corners, which you are going to obviously see once you're looking up from this area over here and that will be joining the apex on our side. This is basic orthographic projection, first angle that is. And uh, so let's get going. But you'll notice that you have a line in the middle over here. This here is called your vertical trace. It's a cutting plane. This vertical trace over here is going to cut the shape in half, or in two rather. And we need to go and find what the top view is going to look like once um, we have found the cutting points. I'm going to highlight these cutting points for you guys. Now please note that I've drawn the front view in construction. This is very, very important. We note that we're going to be taking off the top portion of it and leaving the bottom portion of it. Therefore, the bottom portion may then be drawn in final line. The only way we're going to find this shape over here is if we've actually drawn it in construction in full. It's like having a bread and knowing exactly where to cut it. If we didn't have this front view, we wouldn't know where to cut it. We'd just have a cutting plane and we wouldn't know where it actually made its cutting or its, its uh, cutting uh, uh, points. Now, if I had to draw the left side view, I'd have to do exactly the same thing. I'd have to go and draw the entire left side view, as though you had the entire bread, and then you'd have to go and find the cutting points on there. I like working with numbers. The more complex this shape is, the more reference I have, and I can easily follow from view to view, which number I need to project. Right, if I projected this guy up, this is obviously going to be one, five, two, four, and three. And we're obviously going to have cut point one, cut point five, cut point two, cut point four, and cut point three available to us. Please note that guy there. I have constructed all the lines to it. Yet again, they are in construction because I have to find these cut points on these lines. And once I've found the cut points on these lines, I then can go and draw the final line. If need be, we project straight down back onto those lines to find those cut points. Hmm. We have a problem here. We can't project number two down because it won't actually intersect any of the lines. Let's continue. So we know that we get cut point three on this line here. 
But let's just take a step back for a moment. Note that I've got cut point 3 between base point 3 or base corner and let's call this 0. So therefore I'll have to find the point between base point 3 or co uh, base corner 3 and 0. Project it down and that will give me cut point 3. Let's do the next one. Between ground point 4 and the apex 0, to ground point 4 and the apex 0, I found cut point 4. 2, we don't know just yet. 5, find cut point 5. Between 5 and the apex. Between 1 and 0, I find cut point 1. Between 1 and 0, I find cut point 1. Now I do this because it's the same shape, just a different view of that same shape. All right. Now that I have these, I can simply go ahead and use my ruler. But I'm still missing a point over here. Remember that? We're doing the bottom portion of the shape. Therefore, from cut point 3 down to 3, I will see. 4 down to 4, I will see. 5 down to 5, I will see. And from cut point 1 down to ground point 1, I will see. This is the one we have to work out. So I think by now you guys might have figured it out. We need to have an extra view to project onto. So let's go draw that extra view. Please note, I've projected two across, enabling it. One and three will be aligned with one another. Five and four will be aligned with one another. And obviously, the apex, which now I've projected across as zero. We know that we have to draw the entire shape, otherwise we don't know where the cut points will need to lie. Do yourself a favor, do all the hard work first. All in construction. And now once I project across, I now know, right, three goes across two, three. Four will go across two. end of this is going to come off. Two will go across to two. Five will go across to five. And one across to one. But I've drawn it all on the outside because I know exactly that I've got all the shapes. Now, this will definitely be uh, giving me the cut surface. The surface that when I'm looking from this end over here, when I'm looking from this end over here, I'll definitely be able to see my cut surface.
because I know that I'm going to be keeping the bottom half just like my front view, the bottom portion of it, I go connect it to the base points or the base corners. Solids, you'll have to show the hidden detail, even though there's a bit of patching to come in. You'll treat it as such. So your 45 degree set square, and you'll show this as a hatched surface. It's a cutting cut surface. But now you have your left side view done, except for we don't find we haven't found number two yet. Okay? So number two. Project straight down. This is cut point two. Remember, we couldn't find it over here. Now we're using our left side view to simply project it across. Found it between two and zero. Therefore, I can simply go and connect two to three and one to two. Please remember that we have two connected back, back to its base points. Now, the top is uh, cut off, and we can go and section this area over here. And that gives you a complete view. That's your geosolid, completely cut. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys learned something. Um, remember that you uh, can like and share the video um, so that it can help other people. Uh, once you've liked the video, uh, it's an indication for others to see that uh, it might be a good video if you did like it and if it was helpful. 